Good morning to everyone. I am Alessio Mostaccio, a PhD student at the University of uh, Roma Tor Vergata. And today I will present my work entitled Full League Wireless Batteryless Sensor for the Detection of Amines. Well, the um, motivation behind our work is food wastage, because according to FAO in 2020, approximately one third of food produced annually for human consumption is wasted. This obviously causes price inequality and food insecurity. But the problem is that food monitoring is a quite complex matter, as you know. Indeed, uh, mm, the most standard method for food monitoring requires complex electronics, uh, which uh, face uh, challenges like the accessibility, the cost, the contamination of food during and after the inspection and its disposal. We must also know that uh, each food is different from the other and the selectivity, so the um, analyte to monitor is uh, changed from food to food. So a solution comes from the smart label, which are an integration of sensor and antennas in, within the same label with a minimal electronics. But we can make a step further by burning, by engraving the, this label directly on the package itself. For example, by means of lasinduced graphene. So we burn the precursor, which can be, for example, a polymeric precursor or any carbon-based material to convert it into graphene. But we have to keep in mind one aspect, that Antennas require high conductivity, so low sheet resistance, while sensors require high resolution. So we need a kind of hybrid lacing in order to achieve both of them. Here comes the goal of our work, was to develop the first heterostructure wireless sensor made entirely of league and employing RFID communication protocol to monitor wirelessly a means concentration as a case study uh, inside food packaging. What's the rationale behind our work? We have a target molecule with a given, with a known concentration C, and we want to transduce this uh, concentration, this variation of concentration into an electrical parameter. So the idea is to load with a chemical interactive material, CIM, and, um, a capacitive sensor connected to an antenna by means of uh, an RFID integrated circuit. Here there is the device we manufactured. As you can see, we have two different kinds of lig, the darker one and the lighter one. They are different not only for, the, for their appearance, because the, the darker one is fluffier while the other one is more compact, but they are different also for the electrical parameters. Indeed, the, the lig S, lig sensor, the dark one, was uh, achieved by means of a lower sc uh, scan speed and laser power at the cost of a higher sheet resistance. On the contrary, the leak A or leak antenna was achieved by means of a higher scan speed and laser power, and also by adding the defocusing on the beam. Why? Because in this way, we achieved the overlapping between uh, adjacent uh, lasting spots and achieved a more compact and more conductive uh, trace. Here we see a transition from one kind of leak to the, to the other one. Another important aspect that we have to keep in mind is that we laser the uh, substrate polymide in this case by means of horizontal lines in order to ease the flowing of the currents along the antenna. But what about the experimental results? Let's start with the electromagnetic one. We have um, a good agreement between the simulation measurement uh, results with a realized gain of approximately minus 13 dBi, granting almost 1.6 meter of uh, read range. About the sensor, we evaluated its performance in a control environment by means of a flow meter in order to inject accurate concentration of thiazilamine. And what we see is that despite the sensor at the moment is not able to distinguish different concentration, we, uh, the sensor is, is triggered by the exposure to amine. So it senses the um, presence of amine inside the environment. Finally, we tested the entire system in, uh, in a commercial food packaging containing some fish, and we inserted with this purpose two RFID tags. One was loaded with the chemical interactive material, the blue curve, while the other one was not loaded, was bare league. What we see is that the blue curve is sensitive to fish spoilage, while the uh, black one was not. 
In conclusion, we developed the first uh, league heterostructure for sensing and communication, but this device is also general purpose because we can sense other volatile compounds by simply changing the CIM. The communication obviously is uh, modest at the moment because we have 1.6 meter, but it is suitable and compatible with automatic reading of uh, packaging. What Hi. are the... Okay. Hi. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I concluded. Yeah. Thank you.